I've been identified with the greatest generation. He coined the phrase the greatest generation. Now Tom Brokaw, the longtime face of NBC Nightly News, is the latest network news anchor facing accusations of sexual harassment. I was groped and assaulted by Tom Brokaw. Linda Vester was a war correspondent for NBC News based in Washington, who says Brokaw came on to her in the mid-90s during a work trip to New York City. Vester says she wrote about their encounter in her diary, recalling how Brokaw encouraged her to stay in New York City instead of flying back to D.C. so the two could have a drink. She says later that night, Brokaw came to her hotel room where he made a physical move. He leans over with his index finger and puts it on my mouth to silence me and says, this is our compact. And at that point, he took the same hand, reached behind my head, and tried to force me to kiss him. A defiant Brokaw fired back in an email to his NBC colleagues that surfaced this afternoon, saying he is angry and hurt. Quote, it is 4 o'clock a.m. on the first day of my new life as an accused predator in the universe of American journalism. I was ambushed and then perp-walked through the pages of the Washington Post and Variety as an avatar of male misogyny, taken to the guillotine and stripped of any honor and achievement. Brokaw's email goes on to call Vester a character assassin and a former colleague who left NBC News angry that she had failed in her pursuit of stardom. People we spoke with today say the allegations don't match the man they thought they knew. It's just this kind man that does these amazing interviews with these uh, incredible people from all over the world. It was yeah. somebody that you would look up to and you knew he was going to find the truth and share it with the rest of us. So now to hear this, it, it's heartbreaking. And again, according to Brokaw, not true. Another woman also accused Brokaw of putting her hands on his chest in the 90s. He told the Washington Post that never happened. Late this afternoon, Sacred Heart University in Connecticut said Brokaw has now withdrawn from delivering the school's commencement address next month.